What's going on guys? Welcome back, Boots and Bucks Outdoors. Brian and Matt here with you. Uh, it's been about a week or so since we uploaded our last video, so thought we'd make one here real quick. Uh, it's March, so not a lot going on. We've uh, struck out on the shed hunting here lately, but still got a couple more spots we want to try. I uh, definitely want to go back to my farm and get a couple more people with me and scour that real good. but. Thought we'd just take a minute and talk about the success we had this year. Um, like I said in a previous video, we both tagged out on our bucks. So we thought we'd just uh, share those hunts with you. We got a little bit of video and some photos we can share with you, but just thought we'd talk about those here real quick. Yeah. So. yeah like Brian said, we had a pretty good year. It's actually a very fun, interesting yeah. year because this first year we hunted together mm -hmm. and the first buck we got was Brian's, and he actually came up to the farm. I had hunted for the past five years, and I had any success. Like, I've gotten near, but not any nice bucks. And he got his nice buck, and then we traded off, and I came to his farm and ended up getting my nice buck. In my defense, I said that I wasn't going to shoot any bucks, that I was just going to do doe patrol for him. Yeah, you know, you see how that turns out when you bite your buddy out to a farm. But he also threatened me with violence if I cast on the bucks. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to kill his buck. I didn't have a choice. Anyway, but I mean, when I went up to his farm, was, I took my decoy, old Bucky is what I call him. Yeah. And first time I actually really hunted with a decoy, and the, you know, the field was already tilled up and stuff, so we needed something to draw the deer in because the food wasn't going to do it. But it ended up, I was sitting in the tree line, and he was sitting in the woods, and I, we sat there, what, two hours maybe? Yeah, about two, two and a half hours. And it wasn't real cold out or not, so we were, yeah. we were comfortable. It was but, November 10th, so yeah. the weather was perfect. And he ended up having the buck I shot walk in front of him first. Which that's the video you'll see. Yeah. Oh, it was just fun hunt. I mean, yeah. we got footage of it. I Ryan's got some good footage of it. Yeah, I watched the whole thing go down from my stand because I was like 150, yeah. 180 yards to the east of you. So yeah, and I ended up spining them and dropping them. Yeah, I had to put another arrow in and finish them off, but you know that happens. Yeah. I should have waited for them to walk a little <laughs> farther, but I was already drawn back for like a good solid minute, and I was getting tired, yeah. and I was scared he's going to look it up at me and see me because I was pretty dang close. Yeah. But, it was just cool because it was a buck that, you know. You got history with. Yeah, had a year's worth of history with. Like I said, it had pictures of him through the summertime in that same spot, like right there by that stand. So we kind of, when he walked by me at first, I didn't even realize it was him until. Oh, yeah, it looked like yeah. I decided and gave him a phone call. Yeah, like, he called you me. You know what buck this is? He's like, it's the one with the. The split. The split on the G2. I'm like, oh, geez. So, but, yeah, that was a fun hunt. My boy Matt just smoked a buck out here in New Bloomington. Walked right by me at like 60 yards. Went towards him and his decoy. Dropped him. We're gonna go take a look at this guy. I'm pretty sure I know which buck it is. But let's get up here. We'll take a look. Get back with you in a second. So. But with mine, like Matt said before, this is my first time out on his farm that he's been hunting for four or five years. And I've seen nice bucks, but not like this buck. <laughs> and I don't know, I was probably sitting there for three hours, so it was like maybe four, four thirty. And when I walked out there, the farmer was actually just taking the beans off. I like literally hadn't even finished the first end row. I mean, I walked by the combine, so because um, I was going to sit in a different stand that was on the edge of the field but with him taking the beans off like that I figured I'd go back into the woods you know and set in this two-man ladder stand that literally has no cover around it like except the big like yeah. that's on <laughs> I was like if a deer walks out of here anywhere near me I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb but sitting there for a couple hours and then there was a, a coyote that ran right in front of me like 70 yards and I tried calling to him and then I even actually pulled out my phone and did like a rapid distress call as loud as it could 
and he just he kept on going he didn't care and i was like well probably just scared the heck out of everything that was anywhere close to me and matt was actually working on the farm and i was texting him telling him the coyote was there and then i don't know it's probably like 15 minutes later i look up and i see a deer on the edge of the tree line on this winter wheat field and at first i thought it was just a basket rack and i was just like i'm gonna let him go and not mess with him he started making a scrape got up on his hind legs to get the licking branch i was like well i'll grunt at him just see if he can come over and i can get footage of him and hit the grunt call like four times and he whipped around and stepped into the woods he was still probably 80 yards away and i couldn't really see him real well because there's still a bunch of cover and then he kept coming and finally got in an opening in the woods and that's when i saw that it was not a basket rack <laughs> it was actually a good buck and he ended up walking all the way past my right side and then behind me and it was fixing so went the, straight down one did not it oh yeah because he was fixing to go out into the cut bean field and i grunted at him two more times and he stopped and just turned his neck around and looked and then acted like he was going to walk off and i grunted at him again and he whipped his whole body around and that's when he walked completely downwind from me behind the tree circle around to my left side about 25 yards out and just started destroying a sapling had it pinned down on the ground uh, made a scrape and then when he got up from that he turned and was at like 22 23 yards uh quartered away and i shot at him and i honestly thought i missed him because i didn't hear i didn't hear the arrow impact and he took off like a bat and was gone and if i would have like i was i was upset and i was like punching the tree <laughs> i was so mad <laughs> and if i wouldn't have thrown my little temper tantrum i probably would have either at least heard him crash or probably saw him crash but i called matt and i was like hey are you still at the farm he's like yeah i'm by your truck <laughs> i'm waiting for him. i'm like i freaking missed him got down looked for my arrow couldn't find it had him come out with a flashlight and we're like looking for like five minutes yeah. and you're like hey how sure are you missed i'm like i'm pretty sure and you're like I got blood over here. I'm like, my heart sank because I thought I made, I thought I nicked him or made a terrible shot. And we started following the blood trail, and it got better and better. Uh, and it good. I, yeah, like I thought, we thought that it was a pass through because it looked like he was bleeding out both sides. Uh, and then, kind of stopped tracking, and called my buddy uh, Mike with Evolve Bow Hunting Outdoors. Check out his channel, and he came out and. We picked up the trail and maybe walked another 20 yards. Yeah, and it was, uh, it was like <laughs> 10 feet, it seemed like, but it couldn't be Mike, Mike was trying to surprise me, and I got too excited. <laughs> Matt got excited, <laughs> and there he was. And turns out the arrow went, hit him a little back, but like I said, it was a perfect shot, though. For yeah, because he was quartered away, and it went straight up. Once we got him gutted, I you know I got like one look completely and then clipped. The lung and the heart. So you got the top of the heart. And yeah. It hit like every major organ you could <laughs> do there. But, yep, those were our hunts this year. So it was awesome. I mean, it was a good yeah. first year. To, and with his hunt, you know, I took a little video when I was walking out to him. That's kind of how this whole YouTube channel yeah, that's kind of what got adventure started. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. So that hope you guys cool. like these little snippets that we have of the hunt and the pictures. Hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button, hit yeah. the subscribe button, and keep watching. And uh, hopefully, hopefully next year we got more coming for you. For yeah. Nice bucks at least. More from uh, Boots and Bucks Outdoors, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned.